Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and you're looking at Hoser XT, the latest plugin from David Bendeth and Boz Millar, and this is a fantastic sounding emulation of the Canadian Ward Beck EQs. And if you're wondering what Hoser means, it's a Canadian slang term that means someone who's kind of an idiot or a loser, and said in my best Canadian accent, it's usually used something like this. He's a real hoser, eh? Anyway, this is a fantastic sounding EQ, and at first glance, it looks like a regular kind of bread and butter EQ, but it's got a couple of really nice distinguishing features that make it special. So let's look at the basic controls, and then we'll put it to work. Now, it's got a low band that can double as either a shelf EQ band or a peak band, depending if that button is in or not. And we have the Q control over here. We set the frequency and we set the gain over here. And when it's in shelf mode, this is inactive. We have two mid bands and they're traditional peak bands where we have the amount of gain over here, the frequency over here, and the Q over here. And there's overlapping frequency ranges, so very useful. And the top band, again, doubles either a shelf or a peak band like that with the amount of gain there and the frequency there. So that's the standard stuff and it sounds great. What makes it unique is that we can work in traditionally linked mode like this where you adjust one frequency and adjust the same thing on both sides, but we can also unlink the bands and adjust the two separate left and right sides separately. So that's the first thing that makes it special. The next thing that makes it special is that the high band goes really high. Instead of going to 18 or 19 or 20, it goes all the way to 25. So we can really push that upper air up on top and get that nice crisp presence. And again, separately for left and right, which makes it really powerful. And the third thing is that it works in a mid-side mode. And for those of you who don't know what mid-side processing is, it separates the signal into center and side elements. And the center or the mid contains all the info that appears on both the left and right. And then the side contains the info that differs between the left and right. So it's kind of like sum and difference. The mid contains the sum, everything that's the same on both sides, and the side contains the difference, all the frequencies that are different. So it really allows us to zero in on the frequency range in a unique way, and especially given that we can control them separately. So let's start by looking at this on a main mix. I'm gonna just zero everything back to the neutral settings. And we'll start by just bringing up the high end. You'll hear how I can push the air and we'll do it in link mode to begin with. So you can hear how that really pushes the upper harmonics in a nice, gentle, unaggressive, unstrident kind of way. And we can initialize the settings easily with this button over here. And we can unlink them and easily just do that to either of the sides and that'll work nicely too. So maybe I wanna push up slightly different areas on the left and right. Very nice, and a nice little Easter egg here is if we click on the name, we get a little graph superimposed that shows the curve in a graphic kind of way. So let's initialize this again, and let's go into mid-side mode, because to me, this is where all the fun and excitement really happens. We can start by bringing up the high shelf on the sides only, and that'll really boost the upper harmonics without bringing up things like the kick drum and the bass and the stuff that sits nicely in the mids. So to me, that's a much more subtle way of bringing up the air and adding width to the mix because it brings what's on the top end up, but only the parts that are different on left and right. So it enhances the stereoness of it. So that's one really nice way of using it. And we can also bypass this right from within the plugin over here. And we also have an input gain here so you can attenuate or boost as necessary. Let's leave it in. And I'll just initialize this by command clicking in this DOM that'll center it. Now, another thing we can do is filter out the low end on the sides only, and this is also useful for tightening up a mix. So generally we want the kick and the bass drum and elements like that that sit smack in the center of a mix. We want those nice and prominent. And what I can do is bring down those frequencies from the parts of the mix that are not in the center. So that way it leaves more space for the kick and bass. And I can also sweep this pretty high when I do it. Let's listen. 
I'm gonna start by boosting it so we can hear what we're gonna pull out. So here I've exaggerated a bit, but it really helps clean up a mix and tighten it up in the center because I've pulled away from those center low frequencies, everything that's not happening down there. So I can exaggerate it a bit. I might not do it this dramatically, but just to illustrate the point, this is a nice way of approaching using the side only in a mid-side type of mix. Let's put this to work on a pair of drum overheads. Now I've got them on a bus and I'm gonna start by working on the mid frequency to bring up the kick. So I don't really wanna bring up the high end part of the cymbals or the snare crack or anything like that, but I wanna bring it up on only what exists in the middle of the mix. So let's dial this up and get some nice tone to the kick. So I'm really beefing up the kick nicely without affecting too much else. Now let's see what we can do again, just operating on the center part in some of the upper mids and then I can treat them separately here for the frequencies that aren't happening in the middle, but let's deal with the middle ones here and see if we can add a bit more crack to things. By narrowing the cue here, I'm not affecting as wide a range, so we hear a little bit of that, a little bit less rather of that resonance up high, but enough to add a bit of presence to the upper mids. And I think I'll leave the highs alone. Now, on the sides, I wanna bring down what's happening in the mids to really leave space for the kick drum to come through. And again, I can exaggerate it here because there's not a whole lot of high-end content happening outside of the sides. So that's working nicely. And I'm gonna bring up some air up high and try and bring up the upper harmonics on the cymbals and a bit of that crack on the snare. And I'm gonna dial a bit of the mids down a bit too here. I'm gonna try a bit of that old Pultec thing where I bring down a little bit of the same area I'm boosting. You might not want that much of the upper harmonics, I can ease off a bit, but you get the idea how you can really sculpt either individual elements or a whole mix using the mid side separately. So that's really unique here. Combine that with the ability to unlink left and right and get way up into the upper air range of the high end EQ and you got a really nice sounding plug in here. So this is Hoser XT by Bendeth and Boz and this is Eli Kranzberg signing out.